Hi, my name is Joseph, and this is going to be my first review on the 30th anniversary Star Wars uh, Phase One Clone Trooper. So this is the front of the box. It has the trooper, and it actually comes with the collector coin right there, which is the Attack of the Clones collector coin. I'll take a look when I get it out of the box. Uh, this is the back. It has uh, the bio right here, some info about the trooper, and uh, the other figures in, in the line. Let me get this to the box report. I have already opened it. Uh, just so I can put the documents. Okay, let's get this coin out first. This is the Attack of the Clones coin. You see Anakin, Padme, and Jango Fett. And on the back it has in Roman numerals uh, 2 for Attack of the Clones, which is the chronological order of the movies. But not the order they came out in. Okay, let me get the figure out of the box. Here it is. Oh, the gun already fell out. <laughs> here is the here. I'll show the gun first. So this is the gun. Not a lot of paint deco on it. Hold on, it's a little the rubber piece to hold it in. There we go. So yeah, just a standard black gun has the finger hole because you can hold it better. Right here, even uh, a little peg right at the top, which is actually can be used in some of the other uh, Attack of the Clones wave figures. That they had, uh, they had little blaster bolts on it, and you could pop it onto the front of the clone trooper gun, which was pretty cool. But they're really hard to lose once you have them out of the box. Uh, so yeah, and here is the actual Phase One clone trooper. Standard white helmet, no Legion or anything yet because they didn't have those when the Phase One armor was produced in Star Wars. So it can the arm can move up that much. It ha does have arm movement, uh, elbow bend in. I mean, uh, sw hand swivel. No uh, forward like the GI Joes do. Uh, the head can move up that much, down that much, side to side, basically all around. It's on a ball joint. Uh, it turns on the hinge right there, and it can uh, go backward a little bit and go forward the leg goes out that far it's hard it doesn't have uh it's not the legs aren't on the ball joint so they're uh they just move up and down but it makes up for that with the uh knee joint and the uh foot joint it goes back and forth no ankle pivot but yeah uh let me find the gun where we put it So, okay, no, it, it holds the gun pretty good, um, but it is a new figure, so it kind of has, and, but the left hand right here, it's a little bit stiff, the rubber, the plastic is uh, a little bit hard to bend, so it does make it a little bit of a problem to get the gun in, there we go. Fell out. Okay, so it doesn't hold the gun that well, I guess. But uh, it'll work. It, it's a good figure. It's good for army building, considering it was only $8. That's how much I bought it for. So yeah, price very cheap. It's a good figure. I like it. I have a couple more in my collection. Um, I don't see the point in doing reviews on those, even if they're from different lines. Uh, the only difference is the Clone Wars one from when the TV show was on. Uh, it has the playing card and the dice, uh, and some of them came with the bag of weapons, I think. So yeah, that's uh, my that was my review on the Phase Two Clone Trooper. Uh, thank you for watching.